What's up guys, I'm Zach and welcome back to another video. Today we've got quite an exciting one. We are looking at Cole Buxton as they recently picked up a massive amount of their clothings to get a good representation of what their brand is. With that being said, I reckon we jump straight into the videos and try on a few of these pieces. Getting into the first piece of today's video, this is the end exclusive Milano t-shirt. I was very excited as I definitely loved the graphic on this one, especially with that puff print script font across. It definitely added a little bit more texture to the piece and the garment, which I definitely enjoyed. I also loved the quality of the garment, which was a big shock for me, especially as someone who hasn't picked up a Cole Buxton t-shirt before. It's quite thick, quite heavyweight. Of course, you've also got a boxy fit throughout, elongated sleeves, and a tight neck collar, which personally is my favorite when it comes to t-shirts. Personally, a fantastic t-shirt all around. There's not too many critiques on this t-shirt other than the fact that it is a little bit longer than I personally do like with my t-shirts. I will be keeping it, however, and just sort of taking it to a tailor and getting it a little bit more cropped up. However, I think it's a great piece nonetheless, and I definitely love the quality on this garment, and especially that sort of simplistic design, which is much more wearable than some bigger, bolder graphic prints out there. With that being said, let's move into the next piece, which is the Italic CB logo t-shirts. Now, I picked this one up in this vintage black and cobalt blue. Personally, I loved both of these t-shirts. At first, I was thinking that it was a little bit too big of a logo for me. However, getting them in hand, I actually think the CB was actually simplistic in nature and it's not too overwhelming once you're looking at it. Now, these two t-shirts fit exactly the same as the Milano t-shirt, which means you're also getting that boxy fit along the other sleeves and the tight neck collar. A great fit all around and I think it is a super wearable piece, especially with that minimal branding. I definitely think it just allows it to hit. Personally, out of the vintage black or the cobalt blue, I definitely would be leaning to the vintage black as a more wearable piece for every day. Whilst I definitely do like the cobalt blue, I definitely think the vintage black is just a little bit more wearable, especially for my wardrobe rotation. So for me, I will be wearing that one and I may be sending the cobalt blue one back. However, they're both great pieces nonetheless. However, sticking with the cobalt blue theme, I also picked up the sweatpants, which matches the two t-shirts with that CB logo as well. This one is in that beautiful cobalt blue, which I think has a great finish to it. And I think personally, I definitely like it as a sweatpant variation, allowing me to wear a black t-shirt on top, which means it's a little bit more louder on the bottoms, but a little bit more simplistic on the top. So personally, I will be keeping the sweatpant. Now, as I recently did the video for the warm-up set from Cole Buxton, which included the hoodie, crew neck, and sweatpant, I was very disappointed in the way the sweatpant fit in that original video. However, I'm happy to say that this large fits me a lot better and I do believe it's just that warm-up type fit that didn't fit my body at least quite well, especially in that size large. However, this size large definitely fits me perfectly. If I haven't mentioned already, all items throughout this video are a size large, just for reference, and I am six foot 86 kilos. Now moving back up to tops from the bottoms, this is the Aquaclay crew neck from Cole Buxton. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, I have been rehearsing how to say that, but regardless, this is the crew neck here. Personally, I think it's one of the sickest designs that Cole Buxton has dropped in a long time. It has a chain stitch detail on the front with that CB, and on the back, it's got that applied applique sort of finish. It's just basically patchwork for Cole Buxton, which personally, I think looks super sick. And it's also sort of loud and minimal at the same time, just based on the branding, which I think is epic. And of course, on this garment, you've also got that standard Cole Buxton fit. If you haven't seen it in my previous video, it's very similar to the crew neck I featured there. Now, it does have a tight neck collar, elongated sleeves, and a cropped boxy silhouette, which personally, I think is the best look when you're trying to pick up a crew neck, as it allows you to sort of accentuate your features. Now, I think this one is super sick. It's sort of minimal in nature, but a little bit more louder in the back, which I think is super nice. Nonetheless, this is another great piece from Cole Buxton in terms of sizing, fit, quality, and overall design. I think they nailed this piece. With that being said, let's move on to the next one. So of course, all good things must come to an end. And unfortunately that came to an end when it came to the washed green hoodie. Now, I don't know what the problem was with this hoodie because honestly, Cole Buxton hoodies have fit perfectly so far from at least what I've tried on. So trying this one on, I was a little bit disappointed to see that it was quite oversized. It didn't really have this sort of boxy silhouette that I liked. It also didn't fit cropped at least as a hoodie. It fit quite baggy and oversized. and Sure, there are a lot of baggy oversized hoodies out there, so I don't know why anyone would pick this Cole Buxton fit. Unfortunately, it doesn't have that sort of cropped waistband that I like, and it also wasn't a tight waistband, which allowed it to just drape a little bit more, which personally made me like it less. I did love the wash green throughout this hoodie. However, I just didn't think it was a great fit, and personally, I also didn't like the draw cords that hung down from the hoodie, 
which means this was a hard pass for me and one that I'll be sending back. However, bringing the washed green hoodie back in a positive mindset and look, this is the zip up hoodie from Cole Buxton in that washed green, which personally was a big surprise for me, especially when I went from the washed green sort of warm up hoodie to this one, because this one fit exactly how I would have wanted that hoodie to fit. It was cropped, it was boxy, oversized, elongated in the sleeves, and the premium detailing throughout this piece was fantastic. They had big, thick, heavy duty zippers on the front, which also includes two zips, which allow you to just sort of customize the fit however you like, which personally I love the option for. And you've also got CB branding on both the zippers, which just allows it to feel a little bit more premium. Now this hoodie is actually quite heavyweight as well, which sort of lends itself to the price. And personally, I think this is just a piece that Cole Buxton absolutely killed. For me, this is a 10 out of 10. And honestly, I wish the war hoodie fit like this. I'm not sure why there was a discrepancy, but regardless, the zipper hoodie is super sick from Cole Buxton. And personally, I think I'm gonna be looking at Cole Buxton to pick up a few more zip hoodies, especially considering that's sort of what I'm missing in my wardrobe is zip up hoodies as I have quite a lot of throwovers, but not zipped. But getting into the second final piece from today, and this one is honestly probably my favorite piece that I picked up from Cole Buxton. Actually, scrap that. This is my favorite piece that I picked up all year long. This is the Cole Buxton overshirt in blue and gray. And man, this piece is perfection to a T. The detailing, the quality, the fit throughout this garment, honestly, epic. Now, first off, let's just get a look out of the way. It looks sick. The blue and gray is a fantastic combo on this. And of course, you've got that boxy silhouette once again. Now, I actually think I probably could have gone for a medium in this piece. I was actually quite surprised how big the large was. However, I still think it looked just epic regardless. Now, I don't know what to say about this piece other than it's just honestly perfection. I love the colorways. I love the fit of this hoodie. Now, you've got that quilted lining, which means it was super comfortable, super soft to the touch to wear. It's very boxy, allowing it to give a little bit more of a contemporary fit. You've got pockets on the side, which means you can get comfortable. And personally, what I love about the oversized silhouette is that when you put your hands in, it just sort of fits perfectly. Like I'm not feeling like my hands are a little bit more up or a little bit less natural as I would with like a hoodie that has like a kangaroo pocket. I don't know if that sort of makes sense to you guys, but it honestly just fits perfectly. This piece is a 10 out of 10 for me. And yeah, this one's gonna be in my wardrobe rotation for a long, long time. And I can definitely understand why this is one of Cole Buxton's most popular pieces. And without a doubt, if you weren't sure if it was gonna live up to the hype, it not only lives up to the hype, but exceeds it by far. With that being said, let's get into the final piece of today's video, which is the quilted bomber jacket. Now this one I was a little bit more skeptical on because personally, a quilted bomber jacket doesn't really sound like it would be a sort of wearable piece for the everyday. A bomber jacket, yes, but the quilted detailing I wasn't too sure about. However, man, this piece fits perfectly. And honestly, it's so soft, so comfortable, so warm. You can definitely wear this in the colder winter months and get away with it with just throwing this over a t-shirt. It is super sick. And of course, you've got that premium sort of detailing throughout again, a heavy duty zipper and a contemporary fit throughout. Boxy, elongated in the sleeves and quite cropped down below. As you can see in the video, it looks sick, it fits sick. It is a great piece from Cole Buxton. And man, just to end the video on that, I think Cole Buxton honestly is just killing the game right now. And I know they sort of came out of left field and they sort of started with warm up hoodies and zips and sweatpants, but they've come a long way. And I think you really gotta appreciate the brand. I know there are a lot of comparisons to sort of represent and Cole Buxton. And honestly, I don't think there should be. I think Represent is doing their own thing. I think Cole Buxton is doing their own thing. Just because they're two brands based out of England doesn't really mean they have to sort of interject and fight each other. I think it's great to sort of differentiate your pieces in your wardrobe. And personally, I think they're both killing the game doing their own thing. And despite me being a Represent boy at heart, I'll definitely be throwing a few Cole Buxton pieces into the mix, definitely in the future. With that being said, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to drop a like down below. Also, feel free to leave a comment what was your favorite piece, if you have any sizing or questions regarding Cole Buxton. And if you want to see more content from me, Zach, in the future, feel free to subscribe down below as we have more content on the way. With that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you next time. See ya.